This is the best month of July that we've had in probably 10 years. I literally stopped looking after 10 years. Sales are still coming in very strong. People wanna know what we're selling. So today we're gonna to look at some of the items that are selling for some phenomenally good money for us right this very second. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about sales and what's selling for us right this minute. Now this is literally the best summer we've had in like 10 years. No exaggeration whatsoever. Our numbers are staying solid right at the five digit mark. No complaints on sales wise right this minute. If it stays like this, Christmas is going to be a, a bumper crop, I would say, of sales because we've discounted and without the discounts going back into Christmas, we should be doing extremely well. And anybody who's selling in niches like we are, all the folks that we're talking to personally that have quantity and stuff up are doing very well right now. It all comes down to what you are selling, what's hot and what's not. And what's not hot right now are cheap items like home goods and stuff because the price between the used items and the new is so darn close right now. And that's one of the biggest factors because every store has a backup of merchandise right now. And that's what I see going on. Some people don't have as much money as they did and things like that as well. So let's hop over right now and show you some of the items that we've been selling for some phenomenal profits. Now we're going to look at a whole bunch of items, so I'm not going to dwell on each item very long. I've shown a few of these items in Patreon videos and things like that. If you want to know a lot more about what we sell, what we do, you can check out my Patreon page or my YouTube membership here. Now we sell a lot of photos. This first one here is some U.S. Navy sailors in China. It did sell for $37.50. It was an easy pickup. Most of these we pick up in bulk as well. Now many of these items like this one here that sold for $150, bucks, we sold multiple items to the same person. This person bought around $600 from us from one single purchase. All stuff from China. Uh, movie uh, photos. Anything related to movie, we picked up a massive lot of CBS stills, all 8 by 10s $22, $22, $27, $22. This one has Lillian Gish. That's the biggest thing I would say in that one. Now, here's a plate. Now, I had like a dozen or more of these plates. I spent $2 a piece at a thrift store. I have a video showing us picking them up. I have them, you know, with the tag for $2 in the whole works. These were new. I sold the last two um, just a couple days ago for $40 a piece. Nothing super, super fancy. Um, you can see the markings there. Um, and then I, here's another one that just sold. I sold three in the last, say, two weeks or less of these. This one went for $47.50. Uh, postcards. I sold a ton of postcards. This one went for $62.50, just as you see it. Uh, Empress of Britain. It's a rare steamship uh, passenger liner. It did sell for $62.50. I spent less than a dollar on this at a uh, flea market. Postcards again. This one sold for $25. It's been up for a little while. It's odd, unique. It does appear to be hand-tinted, hand-colored, and that is part of the plus on this one. Plus, it's California. Here's another postcard. This is an RPPC, real photo, real picture postcard of a train. This one sold for 50 bucks. This has long since been paid for. Everything I'm showing you here, I've already got my money back out of. So these are all quick, easy bonuses. Now, this is a large pickup here. I spent $1,400 on a bunch of circus-related postcards. If you're in my Patreon or, I believe, my YouTube membership, you'll see a big video or two, actually, just on this haul, how we got it, how much we spent on it, and the whole works. We've made almost three seventy-five dollars off of this as of right this second, profit-wise. So we got our $1,400 back, we got our labor back, any expenses, plus I made almost $400 at this point. Another postcard. This one sold, I believe, for twenty-seven fifty on this one. Wasn't up very long. Uh, I took an offer on it. These are the oddball ones. Most of the time, I don't list anything from Lake George, but this was a good one. Religious items. I sell a lot of religious items. This is one that has a relic, a piece of cloth that that touched um, uh, part of uh, saint's garments or something along that line. Usually, did sell for thirty-seven fifty. I've got hundreds of these in inventory. They do sell. They're just long tail items. Another one here. This one sold for forty-five dollars right here. It's small. It's tiny. It's not you know anything special. It's where it's from, the style, the design, and the age that gave it the value. 
Now, everything I sell is almost always in niches. We're still doing five digits across the board. I can't complain about sales. This is honestly the best sales we've had in summer in at least 10 years. We've been pretty much, you know, just going right on with five digits across the board. Price structure is working. The items we're selling are the plus here because all the five and ten dollar cheapo items people just aren't buying because they can get them locally for a dollar or you know they just won't buy them. Now this one, this person bought a whole bunch of items, almost six hundred dollars worth of records. This one sold for forty two fifty. Another one forty two fifty. Another one forty two fifty. And they bought three or four more for forty two fifty and about a dozen more seventy eights. So this was a good sale as well. More records. This one sold for $30. It's John Philip Sousa's band. That's the plus on this. It only is a one-sided disc. It's a large disc. It's a 12-inch 78. Scarce and fragile. We had to take extra care to pack it. On the back is only a sticker, and then it's completely smooth. Faust. Look it up if you don't know what Faust is. Uh, it's a very nice record in excellent condition, considering this was made in about 1909. Another record here, Fletcher Henderson. Now, if you're in my Patreon or YouTube membership, I go into depth on which one of these, these sorts of records that are worth some decent money. I showed you a big video. We gave you some key insights into what to do with it. I have videos on how to pack these. We made probably around $1,200 at this point off of 78s in the last four weeks. So, you know, that's a pretty good darn return on my investment, considering this is all profit at this point. Uh, trade cards. I sell a ton of trade cards. Now, this one's been up for a little while. Somebody came in. They're not the best condition. Kind of ugly cards, honestly. I had three of them from the very same Rumleys. They offered me 30 bucks a piece if they bought them all. So they spent 30 bucks on this one, 30 bucks on this one, and 30 bucks on this one. So 90 bucks plus they paid for shipping. Everything you're seeing, they paid for shipping as well. Business cards. Now this is just one example here. I believe we took 50 on this one. I could be wrong, but I think it's 50. This is Wyoming Territory, and that's the biggest plus on this. It's a fraternal organization. It's Odd Fellows, uh, someone in charge of the Odd Fellows. It's a unique, interesting piece to say the least. This is one of those freebies because it's in not so great condition. It has staining and other issues with it. Trade cards again. This one sold for sixty-two fifty. Hagerstown Fair, and it's a biscuit works company. You had to exhibit at the fair. You can look up the area. Uh, fair wise, I do extremely well. This is the Danbury Fair. This is an exhibit of Hull and Rogers. This one sold for forty-two fifty, and I sold several others of this exact same card. Uh, now this one's pretty interesting. I'm not sure on the history or anything like that on these, but we've been selling die cut ink bottles for probably 15 years. These are just little pieces of paper that were cut out or they were made this way. This one sold for $135 for the lot of these. I've sold one single individual bottle, uh, uh, you know, die cut bottle paper. They're just paper like this before for almost 200 on its own. These are a little smaller, but I've probably sold three or four dozen of these little tiny pieces of paper. And they sell, again, just because they're ink bottle representations, advertisements. Now, pantaloons, Sweet Ore and Company. If you're a clothing collector and the really vintage stuff, Sweet Ore, there's buttons. I, I've sold buttons. If you watch my videos or you're in my Patreon membership or, again, my YouTube membership, you'll see me talking about and selling Sweet Ore buttons. This is an advertising card for the, the pantaloons, the jeans, the pants, the overalls, and it did sell for $175, and it's trimmed. A good condition card that wasn't trimmed would have got me $250 to $275. So excellent sale on that one as well. Uh, tobacco items. I sell a ton of tobacco items. Now, I use a online site to just give a basic idea to give me a price to start with. Um, if you're, again, in any of my membership groups, I talk about a show, what I've, I've given you the, the hint on it. The thing with the site is that you'll probably only get about 20% of the value of the item you know, uh, listed from that site. So if the site says it's $600, you're going to get 20% of that at best. They're old prices. They're based on, you know, the, the old way of selling them in, individually and in person and through mail order. This one I sold for 100 bucks. I have sold probably either cigarette packs or tobacco labels, probably close to five, 600 of them for decent money. Again, this one went for $100. I sold quite a few. So this one's another one that sold for 100 bucks. Interesting example. It's called Dinner Bell. It's got a fairy, anthropomorphic, I guess, grasshoppers or wasps, I guess that is there. Birds and the whole works. Very interesting as well. 
hundred dollars on that one hundred dollars on this cambodia one this is an early interesting one it looks like it's been hand tinted on top of it very unique piece uh, another hundred dollar item now this one there's two or three sizes of this is why it's Pelham, I don't know if that's New York or what the case may be. There's no maker's mark or anything else like that on this one. I've had two or three different size versions of this one here as well. This one went for $100 also. And yet another one, Intermission. Now, I don't know if that is Mephistopheles, Mephisto, or it's just some character from, from a play or whatever the case may be. It did sell for $100 as well. Now, as I said, tobacco items sell very well. This is Old Abe, Fine Cut, Smoking, and Chewing Tobacco. This card did sell for $325. I believe the last person who sold one of these got like $235, and it was about the same condition. Most everything I'm showing you again, I only paid pennies to a dollar or so for in mass bulk. It's hit or miss sometimes, but we've been doing extremely well and, and very lucky with these sorts of things. Here's another tobacco trade card for cigars, Bachelor Brothers, very famous brand. I believe this one sold for $175, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these items sell fairly quick. Or they're bought by one person buys multiples, like the tobacco uh, cigar box labels. One person bought several of them, plus I've had other buyers as well. Uh, buttons. Buttons is one of my bigger sellers. It's probably my top three niche categories that I sell in. We're going to look at a whole bunch real quick here. Salvage Corps of uh, St. Louis. Now, they had like a salvage store back in the 1870s and 80s, which is very, very interesting to me. This one sold for around $45, if I'm not mistaken. Button-wise, we can do easily $1,500 to, say, around four or $5,000 a month just in vintage shirt buttons. Now, I have another 10 pounds I just purchased that we're waiting on. All vintage, all unique, all, you know, decent items. It's something that I scour. Again, niches make us more money than anything else I've ever made in my entire life. This is my bread and butter. This floats us across. This gives us five-digit sales throughout the summer right this very second. Another one here. This one did sell for $62.50. It's Providence and Stonington Steamship Company. It's a uniform button off their uniforms. Central California Traction. It's the electric way. Now, you need some books and some documentation to actually track these down. The books for railroad and stuff, the three book set costs around $700. I do have them. They're very uh, scarce. They've been out of pr uh, print for probably... 25 35 or 40 years i think they only ran one print of them one of the books can cost you 250 so sometimes you have to invest in you know research material to make the big bucks i'm buying from people who don't have the books i'm buying from people who don't pay attention or don't want to mess with looking up individual buttons but when you see the price 47.50 for this button you know it's a no-brainer now here's an interesting one it's got a lot of damage to it this is from uh, Cape of Good Hope. This is Cape Mounted Rifles. This is a British button. It's made out of horn, and it's got a lot of damage on the end. Now, I had this misidentified. I didn't realize it said Cape in the middle. Somebody told me about it. I changed the title, and in two hours, the button sold for 30 bucks. Can't complain. It's got some holes. It's got some issues. Now, it's made out of horn, cow horn. So it's expected to have some possible chew or pitting or something like that into it. You know, it's, it's 100 years old probably at this point. Uh, this was an interesting one here. I believe this one got us 57 bucks or somewhere in that range. Um, it's Georgia's School for the Deaf, and I've sold a couple other one of these. This is probably the fourth one I think we've sold overall on this one. I got all my money back again in all of these buttons. We invested around $15,000 about two years ago when the buttons, and I've been selling... Geez, the first month we listed buttons, I probably made around five or six thousand dollars in just buttons. You know, and I haven't even sold the best ones yet. Um, this is an interesting one. This is the Atlantic Refining Company. It's an oil company. This is probably from one of their their overalls or something along that line. It sold for forty bucks, I believe, shipped out the door. I had a bunch of these. I've sold quite a few. Um, Rome Railway and Light Company. This one sold for 75 if I'm not mistaken here. Uh, this one was up for just a little while. Again, I don't care how long something sits. We've got so much quantity up that, you know, we sell enough regardless of what, you know, what sits for any length of time. Now, this is a small button, too. If this was a coat size button, it would have been worth twice what this is. Now, here's an interesting one. I don't know what this is for. It's not in the books. Probably somewhere in Hong Kong would be my personal guess because if I'm not mistaken, 
it has a British back mark, and they were all over. They did a lot of work for Hong Kong with production of this type of material. I took 75 bucks on it. This one's been up for about a year. I'm fine with 75. I don't know what it is again. The person who bought it wasn't 100% sure either. He figured he knew what it was, but he couldn't back that up. Now, here's an interesting one here. I have a bunch of these. All told, I probably have around 40 from Buffalo and Susquehanna Railroad. They're early, circa 1900. They weren't around very long. This one sold for 50 bucks, and you'll see a bunch of these sell. And as I said, I put up a couple at a time. He buys them, or somebody buys them. Then I put a couple more. They buy them, and then I put up a couple more. Now, I put up more because I've got three buyers of these. This one sold for 50. This one sold for 50. This one sold for 50. This one sold for 50, this one sold for 50, and this one sold for 50 as well. That's 350 bucks or 300 bucks right off the bat off of these buttons. Again, they're all paid for. This is all profit. Just with me investing the $700 and knowing enough about the buttons, how to tell the age by what's written on the back of them, allows me to make a lot of money all the time on items like this. I'm able to get them fairly cheap because most people don't know the information that I do. So the biggest key to me making all this money off of these and still doing five digits right now in July and in June, I'm sure through August, is I know more than the folks that I buy from. That's the biggest key. I'm able to put the correct information there to attract the buyers. So the best keywords are Buffalo, Susquehanna Railroad, and Button. And boom, off these go. That's just a touch on this. You want to know more or uh, some more in-depth videos, I would recommend checking out my Patreon page or my YouTube membership page here on YouTube. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Surprise comes with three, four, or five baby puppies. One in five mommy dogs comes with four or five puppies. Each sold separately.